However, uh, the situation overall is now a very positive one. Um, and so that means we are in a position to relax more restrictions and to restore much more normality to our everyday lives, which I know is something uh, that everybody is desperate to see. Uh, so that improved position overall is why I am able to confirm today that from Next Monday, at the 17th of May, all parts of mainland Scotland, with, as I said, the highly probable exception of Murray, will move from the current level three down to level two. Uh, but before I set out what that means, let me address the exceptions to that. Uh, firstly, some further detail and context on that situation in Murray. At the moment, across Scotland as a whole, we're seeing 23 new cases uh, a week for every 100,000 people in the population. So uh, levels are relatively low and much lower than they've been for a long time in Scotland as a whole. But in Murray, uh, rates are more than four times higher than that just now and stand at around 94 new cases per 100,000 people. As I said earlier, there is, in the opinion of public health experts, widespread community transmission happening in Murray just now. And so it's against that backdrop that unless the situation was to materially improve over the next few days, it would simply not be safe or sensible to ease restrictions there from Monday. Uh, and that's why I have to flag up today that it is highly probable that Murray will stay at level three for a further period. It's also important that we take precautions to reduce the risk of the transmission of COVID that is happening within Murray spreading from there to other parts of Scotland as restrictions start to ease more significantly elsewhere. So if Murray does stay in level three, which as I said earlier, will be finally decided at the end of the week, we will also reimpose travel restrictions again for a hopefully short period. And this will mean that travel in and out of Murray will be limited to permitted purposes only. If the decision is to keep Murray at level three, and right now I do consider that to be very likely, I can confirm that we will provide additional financial assistance to businesses that will be affected by that. And also, given how deeply unwelcome I know this will be for people living in uh, the Murray area, I can also confirm that we will be doing everything possible to ensure that any extension of level three is for as short a period as possible. We're already working closely with both Murray Council and Grampian Health Board to reduce case numbers as quickly as possible. For example, a mobile testing unit has been moved to Elgin and people are being strongly encouraged to take up lateral flow tests. And I would appeal to everyone living in the Murray region to follow all of the public health advice so that we can get the situation back under control just as quickly as possible and then allow Murray to get back onto a positive track uh, as soon as it is safe and possible to do so. Now, looking to the other exception before I come on to the general picture across Scotland, uh, for our island communities, the situation is different and very much more positive. Uh, case numbers have consistently been at low levels, very low levels indeed, uh, for some time now. Many islands also now have very good vaccination coverage and lateral flow tests are available for all people travelling to the islands from other parts of Scotland. So for those reasons, we've decided that it is possible and proportionate to now ease restrictions on the islands more quickly. Uh, and that will be for com uh, island, uh, sorry, communities in the Western Isles, Shetland and Orkney, uh, for all islands in Highland except Skye, given the fixed link to Skye, uh, and for the Inner Hebrides islands in Argyll, including Isla, Jura and Mull. All of these areas will move directly to level one from Monday rather than to level two. And the full details of what that means are available on the Scottish Government website. But for example, it means fewer restrictions on indoor hospitality. Now, everywhere else in Scotland will move to level two from Monday. So I now want to spend just a little bit of time setting out what that change means in practice. It means, firstly, that we will be able to meet outdoors in groups of eight uh, from up to eight households, rather than in groups of six from six households, as is the case now. And even more significantly, we will be able from Monday to meet in each other's homes, and that includes for overnight stays. Now, it was initially intended that at level two, up to four people from no more than two households could meet indoors. However, we consider that it is possible now to go slightly further than that. So from Monday, up to six people from three households will be able to meet 
indoors in each other's houses. Now, this is still a cautious change, but it is also a hugely important one. It is almost eight months now since most of us have been able to meet in each other's homes, and it has been even longer than that for those of us living in Glasgow and Lanarkshire. I know how much everyone has been looking forward to being able to do this again. It is one of the simple pleasures of life that I suspect, and I hope actually, that none of us will ever take quite so much for granted again. Now, this is an important change in and of itself, but I am also pleased to say that in one respect, we consider that it is possible at this stage to go further than previously anticipated. So from Monday, if you are meeting friends and family within the permitted limits, of course, either indoors in a private dwelling, a house or in your garden, our guidance will say that it is no longer necessary to maintain physical distance, which means, uh, and I actually feel a wee bit emotional saying this, that from Monday, as long as you stay within permitted limits, you can hug your loved ones again. I know how desperate we all are for this, so I don't uh, intend to immediately pour cold water on it, don't worry, but there are two further points I really need to make. Firstly, it remains vital to be cautious and to ease these restrictions carefully. So for the next three weeks, at least, the easing of the guidance on physical distancing will apply to permitted gatherings in our own homes and gardens only. However, over that period, we will also be conducting a wider review of the need for physical distancing in public indoor places, and we'll set out the conclusions of that at the next review point. And secondly, and this is perhaps the more difficult point, please use careful judgment. Uh, close physical contact does still carry risk. I've got to be very clear with you about that. So if you have loved ones who are vulnerable for any reason, please still be careful. And limit the overall number of people that you're choosing to have close physical contact with. It is, at this point, just worth making the point that as we progress, I hope, further into the next phases of the pandemic and easing restrictions as we try to get back to normal, prescriptive rules and regulations will increasingly give way to greater personal judgment. Now, that can and will be difficult. We've all been used to following very rigid rules in the past year, uh, but Getting away from that back to the exercising of personal judgment is an essential part of that gradual return to normality. So please uh, continue to be careful and cautious as we take these next steps forward.